everybody, it's Joe from Daniel's Den of Funny Funny, and we're just so excited to be interviewing some more friends that we have who normally visit our sessions, um, but obviously we haven't been able to meet over the last 16 months, and Funny Bunny, look, he's all ears because he just can't wait to hear from these two wonderful people. So I bet you're all thinking, who's on this call? So Maddie, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us your name and what you do. Yes. Morning, everyone. My name is Madi Badresa and I work in Children and Families Information Service and we provide information to parents. Wonderful. And Jane? Hello everyone, my name is Jane Stewart and I work in the same team as Maddie. We work in the Early Help Service at Brent and I'm very excited. This is the first time I've ever been interviewed by a bunny. So I'm very excited about today. Thanks for having us. <laughs> well, Funny Bunny's really excited. And obviously you both work for Brent Council and we've had a long going, ongoing relationship and it's just been great. And as many of you know who are listening, we often welcome visitors in. And Maddie, you have been coming to Daniel Den for years and I've really missed you over the last 16 months. Now Maddie can you just tell us what has Brent Council Early Years been doing online during the pandemic because I'd love to hear what you've been doing and I'd like to perhaps show you a little bit about what we've been doing. Yeah sure uh, we've been since lockdown we said we'll do something with the parents and the children so we started running a home learning session online and that means a lot of fun with the children that has given me completely a different direction from working on the computer but with the children singing and doing activities and we talk of different things on brain development and we have a lot of joy singing and dancing and, and then also teaching parents what outcome is that learning from parents with the children so what parents learn that by doing this activity what children how it helps the children that is they love their brains yeah yeah, I, I think that's I think that's been brilliant that you haven't just stopped but have been reaching out. And I know you've been doing like stories and song times. Is it every fortnight? Yeah, it's every fortnight. And our next one is on 27th of July. So if any parents wants to join in, please you can contact us directly or you can go on Eventbite and to do the application and get a ticket and then you can join us and have fun with us. Wonderful. And I guess if they go on Brent Council website, I know you've got a fantastic section on the council website. So probably if they Google things, they'll be able to find things and sign up. And is that going on throughout the summer? The next one will be after the summer. So in the summer, there'll be uh, sessions at the family wellbeing centres instead of the online sessions. Oh, now, Jane, that's interesting. The family wellbeing centres, I think that is something that has started or changed over the, the lockdown time. Can you tell us a little bit about those, Jane? I would love to tell you about them. So we have eight family wellbeing centres in Brent. They opened in December of last year, but because of the restrictions, they weren't able to do very much in person in the early months of this year, but now they're starting to invite families in. And what family wellbeing centres are, is they're designed to be a support and a hub for families with children of all ages. So if you've got a tiny baby or if you've got a 17 year old, you can make use of family wellbeing centers and they're available to support young people with special educational needs up to 25. So you can access family support services, um, training, employment advice, parenting support and stay in place sessions all at our family wellbeing centers. And can anybody go to any centre or do you have to live in a certain street to go to act to access one? No, so you can go to any centre in the borough. We ask you to register online, so you make your registration and then you'll see the timetable for all the different centres. But you'll, you'll sort of be in the catchment for one centre, but you can go to the activities of any centre as long as there's space. Wow, well that sounds like a really interesting offer. And again, I guess the details are on your website. They are. Is the Brent Council Children Information's Families Information Service, 
Do you have any other social media presence? Yeah, so we, we're part of the Brent Council social media. So we don't have our own channel, um, but we put posts on the Brent Council channel. So you'll see we post things like um, clips of what's been happening in early year settings. Um, this year we've been posting how our early year settings have been celebrating different events. So World Environment Day, for example, we post pictures of what, what children have been able to do for those occasions. So we don't have our own channel, but we, we're part of the Brent Council channel at the moment. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I do follow Brent Council on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and it looks like you're doing some great stuff, but I always have to, you will know what I'm going to say now, <laughs> I have to say, and also the voluntary sector are doing stuff as well. I think it's so important Absolutely. to have teamwork and to have connections because families are wanting to find out information and part of, you know, I know we've got a shared vision that every family has access to support. And I know Daniel's then that vision to have a toddler group within walking distance of every family of the nation is so important. But this joined up approach is brilliant. Um, Maddie, I know that normally you come into our sessions and you often talk about childcare. And we've just had a conversation before we started recording about toddler groups are childcare. But we recognise child care is a fundamental, is to have that choice for child care is really, really important. So Maddie, could you just tell us a little bit about what's available and also what funding is available to help parents? Yeah, the child care, what we deal with is uh, the nurseries, childminders, after school clubs, activities for older children. So, and we do also run a brokerage service. I'll explain you what brokerage service is. Uh, if any parents is finding difficult to find a childcare in their area or having difficulty to know where the childcare is. So what we do is we give a service to find a childcare. Either it can be a nursery or a childminder, or we also have a flexible childminding so if any parents have got an emergency, needs an emergency childcare and have to go somewhere or has an appointment or they have to go for interviews and need a childcare and if they don't have anybody to look after. So what we do is we find a childcare for that parent flexi hours as well, just for one day or half a day, depending on parents. And uh, we also do... Um, the nursery grants, that is for two years old, three and four and 30 hours. Now, two years old funding is 15 hours funding. It's parents who are eligible are on low income, which is if you are on earning less than 16,190 pounds, then you would be eligible for 15 hours uh, nursery place. And uh, that is if you have got SEN child, then if a speech and language or if it is referral, then it's regardless. They would get 15 hours nursery place. Uh, and if the parents are on universal credit, they can still, get, and that is on threshold of 15,000 or 400, and they can still contact us. And what we do is we do the eligibility check and send them golden ticket. And the parents can take that golden ticket to the nursery and they can claim 15 hours free nursery place. Uh, we also get on low income, we get DWP list and we send out the golden ticket to the parents who are eligible and take that golden ticket to the nursery and claim your 15 hours. Then we have got three and four years old 15 hours nursery place, which is universal, which everybody, all the children gets 15 hours free nursery. And the other parents uh, can claim 30 hours for three and four years, term following after the child's third birth date is when the parents are working, both the parents should be working and then they can be earning at least 100,000 and they can claim that additional 15 hours with through the HMRC. So what they need to do is do the application with HMRC and get 11 digital code number and give it to the nursery. So that's 15 hours additional, which makes 30 hours. And that is also term following after the child's third birthday. So that is the funding part and the brokerage and the service we give for the child care, um, the nurseries, child minders. And we also have information on after school clubs. So for older children now, as we said, we've got 
holiday and the food scheme which has come out in Brent. And we've got our information on our website uh, which, which schools and which communities are running these activities. So it's on our Brent website. If you want the list, you can contact us. If you want any, if you want us to do the search, we are there, just contact us. Wow, <laughs> we'll Maddie. Oh my gosh. As ever, a wonderful source of information. I'm loving the thought of the golden ticket. All I can think about is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and a golden ticket. Um, I do know many parents get concerned about having to top up fees and all things like that. And we always say with the childcare that it's good to know what's available, but you don't have to send your child to childcare. And that's that's a really important thing. But I think that thing that the term after they, your child turns three, we tell that to parents all the time, that you can yeah. access free nursery grids. And I think that's great. And I think if you have got questions or queries and you're listening to this, do contact people like Maddie or Jane or the Brent Council, and they will explain it to suit what meets your needs. And I think that's so important. Yeah. I know, Jane, I bet you were thinking, Maddie's going to tell everybody about what I'm going to talk about. Oh, no, I was busy yeah. thinking, oh, amazing. <laughs> I, I tell you what I thought you mentioned, Maddie, and I've forgotten about it, but I do know it hit the news headlines, that thing about emergency childcare support. And I think that's really good because many of the families that we work with, they know their husband and their doctor and nobody else in this country. So yeah. to know that there is that emergency support is great. Jane, I know that school holidays are starting. Yeah. Some people are concerned about childcare and support. There's a new scheme. Could you just tell us about yeah, that? So this is, this is the scheme, the holiday activity and food program um, that Maddie mentioned where families where children are eligible for free school meals can get four hours of childcare and a free meal um, as part of the day. So Bunny, I don't know what you like for lunch, but the, the children get a free lunch as part of their childcare. So that's fabulous. And that's for four weeks over the summer. Now we're still getting more and more childcare providers saying, yes, I would like to offer places on the holiday activity and food program. Program. But if any families watching this aren't sure if they're eligible, please do have a conversation with your school to check. You don't have to use the childcare at your school site. You can use another childcare provider. So there's plenty of options for you over the summer. So that's something to look forward to this year. And then it will run again at the Christmas holidays and in the Easter holidays as well. Well, I think it's absolutely fantastic. And let's big up Marcus Rashford for all absolutely. he did to campaign for yes. the free school meals. And Funny Bunny, he loves carrots. Of course, um, and now he's got healthy teeth because she's never <laughs> pushing teeth. I think it's really important because, again, it can be a long summer, particularly if you can't get away. And yet, yeah, you know, and I always keep saying to people, there's amazing parks and free activities. I'm yeah. sure it's on Brent website. I know with Daniel's Den that we are continuing to provide activities. And I was just sharing with Jade and Maddie about our craft cards <laughs> and how we are doing a big giveaway oh my gosh it's Tuesday August the 3rd or the 4th can't remember anyhow the Tuesday will be on Daniel's Day's website we are giving away free craft packs at the Chalk Hill Community Centre oh, wow so, and it's from 10 till 11 o'clock in the morning. It's for parents of children under fives. And the, it is packed with this beautiful book. All our craft packs have a book and activities, including Play-Doh. Really good scissors. Good scissors. Blue, crayons. And every Saturday. So I think what's happening with that school holiday programme is brilliant, Jane and Maddie, because... It's providing activities. But one of the things that we learned right from the start of the pandemic was to, I know that a lot of our parents, they always get a bit sad that we close during the holidays, but because we volunteer led and volunteer supported, our volunteers need to look after their children. Mm. But every Saturday we do Facebook Live and this is the craft of this week, which is making a car puppet. And if you've got everything to make this puppet is in the pack and every Saturday 10.45 on Facebook live and on YouTube um, we demonstrate a craft and it's going to and this is a 52 week year provision from Daniel's Den that has come out of the pandemic and will continue Funny Bunny is thrilled 
he's going away this weekend and he's going to be taking photographs of as many cars as he can find because Gosh. often children have them on their clothes they're in books you have models you have toys in your house that we've seen how many cars we can see but this providing support at grassroots level and that's accessible is so important and I think there's one last thing I want to ask Jane about which is about the Parenting Champion Programme. Yes, so uh, thank, you thank you. One minute before we need I'll, I'll be very brief, but I just, I mean, it's so fabulous to hear about the amazing work that the volunteers with Daniel's Den do. And I think we've been so grateful because we have a group of parent champions and they're really parents in Brent who are supporting other parents, whether it be through information about childcare, but actually it's general support that parents are providing to other parents. We, um, some of these champions have been with us for years, as I'm sure many Daniel's Den volunteers have been with you for years. Um, and they're such a valuable resource for the community what we do is support them in the same way that Daniel's Den support their volunteers so we offer training um, so just an invitation for any families who might not be able to volunteer at Daniel's Den but might be interested in volunteering elsewhere in the borough we're very we're very keen to hear from you if you're interested in being a parent champion you'd be very welcome so fantastic well my gosh I know that we could talk forever I'm my brain's thinking about the wonderful little village opening in, yes. in the autumn yes that we I just really believe that every baby born in Brent and we're very mindful of those of you who have given birth pre-lockdown and during the lockdown how your child has missed out on being able to come and to access face-to-face -face support and we're very conscious, I know Jane and Maddie and myself, and I think everybody within Brent, that we want you to feel valued and supported. So please, if you are struggling, do get in contact. Um, we, we want to offer support. And we've just touched on a few of the many, a few of the many things that are available. And Jane, Maddie, it's just been brilliant to chat to you today. I'm really glad you like our zebra. I think it's amazing. <laughs> this is our Zoom, the zebra who has been our icon for all our Fabulous. online activities. <laughs> and um, yeah, <laughs> we've been so into recycling. So listen, I'm sure we'll be in touch again in the autumn. Maddie, I can't wait to invite you into some of our in-person groups. But you know what? Online is absolutely fantastic as well. And I was chatting with someone yesterday. I'm going to close on this. Don't worry about your child having too much screen time. I know we worry about it, but accessing these online groups that have been run by the council or our Zoom sessions or other stuff, it's so good for language development and for you to feel connected. And a combination of the two, you know, there's no one size fits all. So it's just been fantastic. Great to see you, Maddie. Great to see you, Jane. Great Thank you, you so much. And Funny Bunny is very, very interested. Uh, whether or not he's going to access those free school meals, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Joe, for having us. I'll see you definitely.